you don't have to struggle with your YouTube title and description anymore. What's going on everybody? It's your dude Devin, and today we're gonna go over how to use ChatSpot to help you with your YouTube title and description. I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time trying to figure out the right title and description to use my YouTube videos. Matter of fact, feel free to put in the comments how much time you spend doing it. Well, that's a thing of the past. Now that HubSpot has launched ChatSpot, let's dive in. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our YouTube video and upload it and give it enough time to generate a transcript. And we know that we have one because we have subtitles generated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the video URL. Then we'll head over to ChatSpot. As you can see, there's already a template here for YouTube summary. That's the first one we'll be using today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in our URL and it's automatically going to create a prompt to summarize this YouTube video. This looks great. It's saying exactly what I did in the video based on the transcript. Now, while this is a great summary, this is not what we're gonna be using for our description. It's just the foundation. So what I'll do is I'm gonna hit copy and I'm gonna go back over to templates because if you go down to research and summaries, you're gonna see that there are some very powerful tools here. We've already used YouTube summary. Now we're gonna create a video description. And I want my description to be 50 words, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste in this summary. The only difference is I am going to switch out that I for Y, just because it's a pet peeve having my first name misspelled, can't stand it. So now that that's in here, we'll hit send, and we'll wait and see what ChatSpot comes up with. That was quick. This is solid, and it even ends with a CTA. That's great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this message copy it. I'm going to head over to my YouTube video and I'm going to paste this in. You can wordsmith it if you want to, but for the purposes of this video, I think it's kind of perfect. This description is great, but one thing we're missing is a title. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this description and head back over to ChatSpot. And instead of using a template, I'm just going to type in the prompt myself. So as you can see here, the prompt that I've put in is summarize this in 60 characters or less starting with how to. The reason why I started with how to is because I'm creating an educational video. So I might start with how to or why or what, but I could just as easily create a list headline starting with top 10 or a FOMO headline ending with you may have missed or an authoritative headline ending with explained. But since we're doing this educational content, we're gonna start it out with how to. So we'll hit send and see what it comes up with how to import contacts into HubSpot from a spreadsheet. And it has a lot of stuff added on, which is good, uh, but I think it's a little long. I really like how to import contacts into HubSpot from a spreadsheet, so we're gonna use that. So we'll copy this, head back over to video details and paste. And of course, it's way too long. We only needed 60 characters, so we'll delete all that how to import contacts into HubSpot from a spreadsheet. Kind of love it. Now, if you notice, I'm doing a lot of wordsmithing. It's because AI is still in its infancy compared to where it's headed. And it's going to need a little bit of guidance, but it definitely lays the foundation for what I'm going to put in a video. So now we have this, we have the description. We still need a CTA. So what we'll do is we'll go back to ChatSpot and keep going. But instead of using the title this time, I think I'll use the description. So let's go back over to our video, copy that. So it has a little bit more information to work with. That's a really nice CTA. I think I'm just going to stick with that whole first sentence. So now I have something that I can put into my social. But speaking of socials, one thing that we're missing are hashtags. Let's see what it can come up with. Now we're reusing our video description again. And I asked it to create three one word hashtags for social using that content. Data import, contact management, CRM training. Not bad. I might throw HubSpot in there too, because people will probably be searching for it. There are other powerful uses for ChatSpot like helping you create timestamps from the video summary. You don't have to come up with the perfect words, as the perfect wording is already covered in the video already, and your summary is just based on it. 
Be sure to check out the link in the description so you can try ChatSpot yourself. In the meantime, that's it for me. Hope to talk to you soon, but until then, take it easy.